two, no. I spent hours and hours and hours in mid journey four. The results are quite frightening. So you might be wondering what's new in this mid journey. It's an alpha version. The full version has not been released. They have been building this for nine months with help from yours truly, you and you and everybody who has used the discord server. They've been taking all this information and seeing what humans actually really like. There is way more information and knowledge in this model, which means there's more creatures, peoples, places, and way more intricate detail within those images than we have seen before. They've been collaborating that all with new AI architecture and have built Mid Journey 4. One of the main features is that it handles multiple subjects as well as multiple people. You can put multiple people in a scene interacting with each other, which is insane and it works really well. The only issue is that we still have that nightmarish hand issue where the hands all form into each other and merge and have six or seven fingers. They're probably working on that and I can imagine when they release the final version that will be fixed and again with the objects as well you can put multiple different objects in a scene and use prompt layering to direct each object it also supports chaos so you can set it from zero to a hundred so this is the alpha version so this is the introductory version and as I was saying the resolution and quality is not as of the previous versions because they're holding that back for the final version you cannot currently do aspect ratios again they're just working and tweaking things out with that so you're just stuck with the same aspect ratio and the four quads you can upscale slightly for a better version you're not going to get high quality different aspect ratio out of it basically you need to expect quirks and inconsistency this being an alpha version so if there's any errors and things going wrong hopefully that will be fixed in version 4 and this is straight from the horse's mouth this is quoting mid journey they've said version 4 isn't the final step but our first step and we hope you all feel it at the new beginning of something deep and unfathomable they are moving forward to the full launch whenever that will be there is no date set for that but for now we can play around with this alpha version and it's looking really promising so come with me i'll show you some things i've created let's have a look at these so this is what i found really interesting so if you sell on etsy or ebay or prints or whatever you're probably used to going to shutterstock or wherever getty images to name a few uh, to get your mock-up images now i actually create mock-up images in blender but this here i've just typed in a a4 white frame on wall focus on frame in a stylish home realistic some of these images, they've given me the artwork in the frame, which is not a problem. I can remove that very easily in post-production. Now, this test was quite interesting. So prior to version four, I had some big issues with motion action shots. It was adding extra limbs and I was having to remove them with the remix feature and it was just all a bit cumbersome. Now they seem to have nailed the action shots and I love these. I wanted to see what the photorealism was like. And I just put plus size model photo shoot. And look how beautiful these images are. If I just click on, I mean, that looks almost real. That's insane. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if I would be able to tell the difference between this image. <coughs> if this image was in a magazine, I wouldn't be able to tell you that it was created with AI. That's insane. Animal photography. So this is using the multiple subject prompt. So I've put a Dalmatian dog, a golden retriever, and a Jack Russell sat together, pet photography, ultra HD, focus on dog, blur edges, super detailed, etc., etc. And yeah, I mean, this one, it's good to give me one Dalmatian for some reason, but uh, that's really, I actually spelled Jack Russell wrong. That's why it was just trying to put another dog in because my spelling atrocious who doesn't want to dress their dog up as baby yoda you can put outfits on your dog with the algorithm moving on to a kind of 3d octane blender render blender render <laughs> i just went for an aerial 3d aerial character funny octane render which is a render 
Um, so when Midjourney eventually comes out with their 3D program, I suspect these will be built with polys, which is insane. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, it's generated something that you would expect to be on the front of 3D Arts if that's still around and you're old like me. Going back to the photography, I wanted to just try out like a little girl dressed up as a fairy, Photography Ultra HD, and this is what it's given me. And then again, you can upload a picture of your child. I wouldn't be uploading a picture of my child to the internet, but there you go, and then add this style onto them. This is a 3D isometric wizard room within Blender and again it's served it's given me what I've asked for frighteningly fast and accurate and again you can change the details in this image with the remix feature I then changed it to be a 3d isometric dungeon room blender and there you go it's like mm. and still on the 3d theme I went 3d low poly game hut blender again my I'm using a really short to the point prompts and they said that you can add more detail and multi-layering of prompts which is really cool but yeah it's given me like pinterest 3d game art results which is crazy i don't think many industries are safe from this i mean i know mark holtz had said that he's working on the 3d program with another click of a button you'd be able to get the poly mesh for these game assets which is insane uh yeah oil painting of blackbird bold brush strokes and it's just again i wouldn't be able to tell you that ai painted that i uh, just did a few tests on the bold brush strokes as well and getting that stylization as well what will be cool is that you can upload a picture of your dog or yourself and add this style to your image and it's a very satisfactory look to the image. And I know Midjourney had been working on looking at what people were actually creating in Discord and what pictures they liked and what pictures they didn't. And this taught the algorithm what was pleasing to the human eye. And I think they really have got this in Midjourney. I then moved on to watercolor, like loose watercolor. So this is watercolor, zebra, loose brushstrokes, watercolor again because I wanted to emphasize the fact that it was watercolor because sometimes if you don't put it in multiple times it, it won't create that loose watery style and I mean look at the top right one that's insanely beautiful this is really good this is better than I could paint which is worrying this isn't at all this is a replacement so I wanted to see a bit more detail so I put in a felted mouse holding a flower cute super detailed mid journey is serving us guys on that handmade theme again I'm looking at intricate detailed here um, I did an embroidery styled needlework of deer and fox and this is what it gave me. A look at the details, you can see the actual embroidery. Again, with the watercolor style, I tried to recreate like Etsy birthday card sort of thing in watercolor style. And as you can see, watercolor and ink giraffe with a party hat on, and baby, that's what it gave me. I then tried a Beatrix Potter, like I guess like a child book style artwork, a uh, frog dressed in clothes by Beatrix Potter, watercolour style, and bam, it gave me that. And look at the detail of the clothes, that's amazing. Again, Mid Journey is a better artist than I am. And then I looked at, again, a trending image on Etsy and recreated that in Mid Journey. And it's, it's far removed enough away from that image on Etsy that I prepared probably copyright this and we sell so that's a black and white photo of an elephant in a bathtub photorealistic yeah thank you very much guys and on that note I have 500 subscribers I don't know why you guys are subscribing but I like you very much for doing that but the reason why I love doing this channel is that I can help open up the AI community to those that are unaware of it or do not have much knowledge of digital art and AI art and that's what I'm here for I actually based my career on learning from YouTube videos I know <laughs> but I managed to forge a career somehow in it and that will do it for now bye bye